Um, we've done the lap zipper and we've done the centered zipper. Now we're going to do what we call a fly front zipper. This is actually a mocked fly front zipper. Um, it's a mock fly front because it has um, the fly um, actually extension on the garment itself. Uh, fly fronts usually have an extra piece there to make them sturdier. However, this is a mock fly front. As I was saying, with the mock fly front, with the mock fly front, mean we're saying that the extension of the fly, this part, this curved section here is um, attached to the garment itself. So if we were inserting this into a skirt or a pair of pants, we would have the extension already there. Okay, so the way we're going to start this, you can see that um, on the pattern piece itself, on the pattern piece it, itself, I have a dot here, meaning that this is the end of this, this po point right here, is where my zipper is going to start. This part is where my seam allowance is for the crotch area, if it's a pair of pants, it would come straight down if it was a skirt. From here up, I'm going to have my uh, extension and the fold line for my zipper. Okay? Okay. So the way we start is we're going to sew regular stitch from here through our crotch. Okay. So I'm going to start at my dot and I'm sewing a half inch seam allowance lining that right up with my dot. I'm going to sew my half inch seam allowance and here I'm going to start by back stitching. This is a regular stitch and I'm keeping this right on the half inch line as I sew. stitch when I'm finished. Now I'm going to take this over just like we did on the lap zipper. I'm going to take this over to the ironing board and I'm going to press this this part open and on my right side I'm going to give myself that quarter inch extension. Okay? The left side is traditionally where the left side is traditionally where we have um, we have our women have their um, fly fronts. Uh, men usually have it on the other um, other side. Okay, so uh, for the women, it would, the fly would be on the left side. For men, it would be on the right side. Why I don't know. Okay, so we're folding the fly front here. The fly front, which is going to be the left side, we're going to fold back to the mark on the pattern where the fly starts. Okay, right down the center front is where I'm going to fold that. The other side, the left side, I'm going to extend a quarter of an inch. And I have notches at the top of my garment, do you see? The notch right here at the top of the garment, that tells me exactly where center front is. So I know if I'm a quarter inch extension, I'm going to extend that over a quarter of an inch and press it there. So we've done two things. 
the first thing is I've taken the um, left side of my garment um, and folded that back on the center front fold line. My other side, the left side, I've ex done an extension of here's my center front right here, which is where my notch is right here, and I've extended that a quarter of an inch. So my notch is right where my fingernail is right here, and I've extended that a quarter, a quarter of an inch. Okay. And when I put this together, that quarter of an inch is going to be underneath so we won't see it. Okay? Now the next thing, next thing we want to do is we want to place our uh, zipper on the quarter inch extension with the end of the zipper being right where the opening is. I'm going to extend that, that's going to, the fold of that cloth is going to be right at the side of the zipper teeth. Okay? And I'm going to pin that in place. And I'll take the pins out as I go. So I'll pin this along here. So I pinned the extension right up, butted up to my zipper itself, okay? So it's on the zipper tape and butted right up to the zipper. And the next thing I'm going to do is sew right up with this, okay? Again, we have to change to our zipper foot. All right, put my presser foot down, and as I said, we'll pull out our pins as we start to sew, as we get up to the pin. I'm going to start by back stitching and back stitch, and we're sewing right at the edge of the cloth. Pull our pins as we go. You want to stop with the back stitch also. 